happy Wednesday afternoon. A very happy Wednesday afternoon. Guess what? That time of the year again. Repairing scooters this afternoon because the season's getting close. It is Wednesday afternoon, so salute. Mmm. Ooh. Thinking of you, we are. Ha ha ha. Hey, sincerely and truthfully, for my underage viewers and especially my much younger viewers, if you must drink, wait till you are of legal age. And for those who are over the age, please drink responsibly. Mm. So while I'm doing this, the past couple days I've been helping John Prather of Ocean City Guide Service, who has gunned over my Skoda rig before, decided he wanted to wait to the very last moment, the very last moment, to decide to carve what he calls the big black swan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the train wreck of the day. The train wreck, I say. That said, come on, let's check out the footage to see what we got so far. But here, this is what I'm going to do because these bottoms are dirty. Just kind of clean them up a little bit. Oh, yeah, much nicer. All right, so now yell at me. This is not the way to use a bandsaw, but we are. Leaf cut. There we go. What you think? And then from this, we can hit. Put a couple more lines on it. 
I'm not the most high tech of decoy carvers, so my stuff looks a little junky. But that's it. Then we jump over here. Get cranked up. This is a, this is a nice collection. All right, normally I preach wear a glove, but for some reason my hands, my friend Flintstone hands don't fit in John's glove, so I'm going to go glove with But a glove is an important thing. That's the hard side here. This is the easy side here. Quick jump that, it's gonna end up looking like that. And this side is for John to do. Thinking of you, we are. We rolling? All right, come in close here. So, because I don't want John to hurt himself, and, 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 everybody's gonna tell me not to do this with a bandsaw. So, the, one, the easiest way, I think, to be a little bit safer to do these blocks like this is to screw a, a scrap piece of board on. Number one, it helps secure it. Screws in from the behind, helps secure it here, and it gives, it's going to give him something to push on and hold on as we cut this through. So what we're going to do is be taking, uh, kind of start to take out the bottom half. So what I'm going to be just taking out the back top half. And the other thing we're going to think about, John, too, is basically, if you really think about it, that's the that's about your bottom board is going to be on there, right? So this is, in theory, is kind of pretty close to what it's going to end up being for, you know, the height. They're big. They're big. Fairly harmless. Best head so far. It just has to be halfway close. All I would do is just, you know, run line here, and you definitely are not gonna, not gonna touch in there. You agree? Agree. Concur. All right. So then we're gonna come bring her back through this way. All right. So, all that said, that's more what your scope is going to look like. And then from there, have at it with the have at it with your uh, uh, have it with your GoPro. <laughs> have at it with your Fordham tool. What do you think? Looking good. We got some work to do. So people will give us a grief, or at least give me grief, that we're not cutting out a shelf here. But man, even though he's going to have a flat back, the heads are high. They're going to ride the board really, really nice. go much further but you can kind of see how it's how it's shaping up and if you were going to 
foot side pockets in them. Again, I'd, I'd want to have the, uh, you know, have your bottom board on there, but uh, I'd go something if you want to do these. Something like that. And when you do that, it'll just help, it'll help from here to here gets pulled in there, and then from here to here will get pulled in, and it'll, just, it'll help. You, it sounds goofy, even, even though you're putting, you're kind of carving a, a, a depression or re carving a relief in here, it just kind of helps pull it together. But that's what I think. Lots of work ahead of me. It's easy. Yeah, I know there's a lot of holes in there and stuff that we didn't show, but it gives you an idea of what goes through making decoys, hand-carved decoys, as well as our big Scoterzilla, the big black swan. Yeah. <laughs> I do thank you for watching the video. Please, right here below, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and please share. Please share this video. All my videos. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really forgot how much they got shot up last year and how much punishment they really do take.